Okay, last video I showed you how to make two kinds of wash, uh, which is just a, you know, simple coating of uh, paint on a piece of paper. Uh, so today I'm gonna to show you a couple more things you can do with a wash. These two are a little more interesting. Um, so we'll see how this goes. The first thing I'm gonna do on this side is I'm gonna make a graded wash. Um, you all should know what a gradation is. You had to do a gradation for your uh, project uh, with the boxes, perspective boxes. So this is going to be kind of similar to that gradation in that it's a an area of color that goes from dark to light very gradually. All right, so I've got a color mixed up ready, and I'm going to do the graded wash just right here without um, wetting the paper first. I'm just going to just jump in and get started. It doesn't take long. Also, you'll see me tilting the paper now and then, so just be ready for that. All right, so I've got this kind of purpley red paint. Um, and every time I bring the, the paint down, I'm adding just a little bit of water to the paint. Uh, last time I showed you how to do this with um, um, like I would dip my brush in the paint every time, but this time I'm just adding more water every time. And that's what's going to make it go from dark to light. I'm just going to really get some nice clean water on there so it's not getting very much lighter. A little bit though. Uh, so instead of adding paint, I just added some water. And then I'm going to use my paper towel to just soak up that little bit at the bottom. And you can see it's kind of a gradation. Now for this side, I'm going to just show you, um, I'm going to do a, a, a wash where I wet the paper first, uh, like I did last time, and on the same side of paper. Just clean water, and my water's not that clean, but it's not terrible. Okay, and then it's just, you know, it's hard to see, but if you turn it from one side to another against the light, you start to be able to see where the water is. And, uh, you know, I showed you how you could use your brush to soak up the water, but sometimes paper towel's just faster. All right, so I'm just gonna put some color there. And I've got a purple color mixed for this purpose. And just like before, I showed you how uh, when you add, when you paint your paper with water first, uh, when you put the color on, it just kind of moves and, and does things on its own. Um, the, the paint will follow anywhere that you've put the water. All right, so um, I could hold this up a little bit and get that puddle down at the bottom. You could see that right away, I think. If you want it super even, you can do this or you can just leave it all uh, and it'll be kind of blotchy, but maybe that's, maybe you'd like that. All right, so there's my uh, wash. And now I'm gonna use some of the red paint I used before. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, go with a different color. I think I'm gonna go with black. I just wanna show you what happens when you like have an intense color on your brush. This is really thick, uh, dark black paint. Uh, looks like that. And I'm just gonna randomly put some in here and you'll see what happens when you add paint, wet paint to a wet area like um, now if I had let this dry first this wouldn't be happening happening at all but you can see how this um, thick paint just kind of spreads and makes this almost like a little star or snowflake kind of things see this it's very wet right here so these two kind of spread out more and that's something you might want to do. I don't know. Um, 
if you want that kind of effect. Uh, this is really a strong effect because it's black paint on purple. If you use a blue or red instead, it would be a little more subtle. Uh, now, th that's similar to what happened here. Uh, same thing, this red paint was wet when I added this dark blue. But look what happens if you let the paint dry first. This was completely dry before I added this dark blue stripe and these two dots. And you see how it didn't spread at all. So just keep that in mind when you're painting. If you want to add, like if you have a, if you have like a, a, a vase or something with flowers painted on it, you might want to use this technique. Uh, but if you just want this kind of uh, hazy, blurry kind of mixing of different colors, then you might want to have wet you want know, paint into wet paint. So this is called painting wet into wet because you're using wet paint on a wet wet surface. This is called painting uh, wet on dry. This blue paint was wet when I put it down, but I was painting over a dry area of purple. Uh, okay, so that's it for now, and uh, more later.